Well, now I'd like to talk to you for the second part of my talk about the Kodak Ektar H35 half frame camera. I've now taken the film out and fully developed it, processed it, scanned it and even printed it. it they've come out here as a couple that have been on A5 size and I even managed a couple up to A4. They're not the greatest prints in the world, they don't look too bad at this situation, but obviously it proves what you can produce from such a relatively small negative. The ideal side obviously is this, the 6x4 prints I did, these which we used to call back in the day end prints or enlarged prints. And as you can see this this is the sort of land, this is the portrait view which is how you would use the camera looking normally and this is landscape view which is when you turn the camera around on its side. Anyhow I should now do a quick description of my processing and this is it. Here I am getting it ready, clipping off the end and clipping the corners to enable it to be fed easier into the spiral of the developing tank. I use a developing bag, dark bag for this job and find it more than adequate. In the past I've used a very large 8mm developing tank in here a long time ago and I managed it so a dark bag of this type or a changing bag as they're sometimes called is the best job. Obviously it's not a lot to see now as all this has takes place in the dark but through the armpits and it, it has never let me down. My processing kit, <laughs> a bit looking rough and ready in the spare bathroom. And after the film is developed and dried I cut it into strips, normally 6 with its 35mm, 12 for half frame and then file them away. I fi after a filing I scan them on my flatbed scanner and then sometimes I print out prints, other times not. The first two I've scanned, one of myself and my wife, using the flash on the camera. Bit of light on the right hand one. Nearby we have a canal and here are some of the barges parked up over winter from the local hire company. Obviously not much use this time of year. Uh, this is a local mill down by the canal as well. Now it's a factory for making sleeper bag, sleeping bags high-end type, the sort you have up Everest and the Antarctic. My motorcycle out in the road, I just parked up off the road, take a few pictures, overcast sky. Another couple of pictures I took, one shows a selfie of me using the camera at arm's length. I was quite pleased with this because it was a bit sharper, I thought it might be out of focus, just a normal one of the bike. I think I used a flash. This is the local cooperative supermarket, a useful building for a quick test of the camera. And finally a pair of owls carved out of wood in the top of a tree stump in an old in a local park. Well I hope you enjoyed my uh, little sojourn and a description of using this as a half frame camera. It's quite a useful piece of kit and I hope that I'll be in the future be able to try and show some more with colour and some finer grain film. So thank you for watching.